Okay. So in your opinion, what are the main challenges facing the healthcare industry in Asia? Well, that's a great question. Um, there, and we'll, I'll look at it from several different perspectives. Certainly, um, Joint Commission International, as an international accrediting organization, we're focused on quality and safety. And organizations in Asia are struggling with the same things that people in Europe and people in the US and Latin America. Um, it's around things like infection control, hand washing, preventing falls, um, medication management. Um, these are issues that we help organizations with in order to do better on all of those kinds of uh, challenges that they face. I think in Asia we have we see that infectious disease continues to be an issue here. Uh, now we are um, struggling with Zika in the United States. We've seen it break out first in Brazil, and now we see news stories about countries here in Asia struggling with that. So I think uh, those tend to be global to some extent, but uh, particularly our challenges in the Asia-Pacific region. Um, do you see, um, how do you think that hospitals are failing to, to, to prevent these this challenges or the, the virus in this case? Well, hospitals are only a s part of the uh, solution to dealing with infectious disease. Um, I think uh, ministries of health have a role in that uh, from a public health perspective as well. But certainly, hospitals are working very hard. This, these are hard issues. They're very complicated. But they have to really think about how do they recognize early that someone has uh, an infectious disease and then start to take the proper precautions in terms of protecting other patients and protecting their workforce. Those are the big challenges when we have things like uh, Zika is, is a little different than other things like Ebola um, and uh, SARS that have been in this region in the past. Do you think, um, do you think we address these issues at HMA? Oh, definitely. Uh, HMA has been, you know, a partner to JCI, to hospitals and other healthcare providers in the region for many years. And I think what the HMA brings to the market is the expertise. They are able to gather uh, important people and people who have strong uh, background and professional experience and expertise and issues that are most important to the hospitals. And so uh, it's a great convener for expertise. Um. What industry trends do you see in future in the Asia, in Asia Pacific, so in the Asian region? Well, we at JCI see Asia Pacific as a region that's certainly growing uh, in general and for accreditation. Uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, new hospitals being built. There's a lot of private and public investment in the hospital infrastructure as well as other parts of the healthcare continuum. Um, other big trends here is, uh, like so many parts in the world, uh, we're figuring out how to help with people who have chronic disease and a growing aging population. So in addition to hospitals, I think that uh, one of the big trends that you, we will see here is that uh, we have to look beyond the hospital, after the hospital, in terms of home care and in terms of other kinds of potentially uh, residential settings for people with chronic illness and people who are elderly and need help. Um, are your objectives being met at HMA? You know, we've, we've been coming to uh, HMA for many years. We love HMA. Uh, we're a partner uh, with the whole organization. Uh, we've got our biggest booth ever, I think, this year, and I'm really looking forward to spending some time there and meeting everyone. Uh, it's a great place for us to better understand Asia Pacific, better get to know the key players and who is, who's doing the, uh, the best work here, and expanding our business, certainly. What do you like the best within the conference and the awards? What is your favorite part of the show? Well, my, my favorite part, number one, is the, um, I just love working in the booth. You know, it's, a lot of people may not like that, but you get to see everyone and meet so many people. And we take a lot of pictures and we have giveaways and we have contests. That's great fun. And the other is the gala, especially when people who come with their, uh, uh, dress from their countries and we see such a great explosion of color and diversity and it's just so much fun It's just so much fun and an energy in the room, but but it's a really great experience. It's a very good experience So I could take that networking and fun It's a very good mix of work definitely but networking is fun uh, There is a lot of work and a lot of preparation before we get here, but it, it's a lot of fun. Yes That's great. Thank you very much Thank you. <laughs>